Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's an SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. It's Monday the name, getting paid for the game. It's Monday, got three games on the slate. Uh, just as I was starting to record this, I realized my first play, Jovic, Nikoli, Nikoli Jovic. Is that Joker's brother? I don't know. Uh, I played him for his points. But they just bumped it up. I got him at eight and a half. They bumped it up to nine and a half. You can get the eight and a half. It's at minus one forty. Uh, definitely a safe bet. But I was juggling between his points and rebounds and his points. I played his points. They got his points and rebounds at fourteen and a half. He's been doing really well on his rebounds. Eight last game, nine the game before, or six the game before that. Um. As well as his points, has been in 15, 11, and 10 the game before that. So he's been clearing this. Uh, he's been getting more minutes now that Rozier and everyone else is not playing Butler. Plus, he's been performing better. His minutes got bumped up last game. He's been averaging about 25. He played 33, and he produced, so... I realized in these playoffs, like they should be, if someone's producing and doing well, they leave him in and let him play. This kid's got some spunk. He's hustling. He's running. He's jumping. He's playing. You know, he's got them young legs. Uh, like I said, I took him for points over eight and a half. It's at nine and a half right now. You could buy it back to eight and a half. Or uh, definitely feel comfortable with the 14 and a half points and rebounds. I was going to play this anyway because, you know, let's say he's not scoring as well. He's still out there hustling and he's grabbing, you know, at least eight boards, six boards, seven boards. Uh, his threes are good too. You got him at one and a half threes. He's, he's been hitting three, three a game. But, uh, you know, for better odds and uh, more of a chance of hitting, I would take points of rebounds or take the points at eight and a half, nine and a half right now. Just keep an eye on it. All right, Jovic. Over 14 and a half points of rebounds or his points. Number two, going on with Celtics, uh, Al Horford. I threw this in uh, the community last time. Cashed. Uh, points and rebounds over 12 and a half right now minus 115 on DraftKings. Uh, got his points at six and a half still. If his points go below that during the game, live betting on uh, six, five and a half, six, definitely take it. Uh, he's been doing well on the rebounds. I mean, shit, the last 10 games, which I stopped looking at that, but uh, he's grabbed at least six. What I've been doing is the last three games, just adding everything up and taking the average off that and uh, not counting the regular season. But uh, last game he had 15, cashed him, game before that 14, uh, played his points that game, I hooked him. And uh, game before that 17, I didn't play him at all. They got that 12 and a half. Averaging around 22, 23 minutes. Um, yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's a veteran. He's a little beast. Uh, they got his threes at one and a half. Uh, he hasn't really been hitting them, but he's, he's, he's usually good for two, but he's been off a little. But a uh, nice, safe play. I feel very comfortable playing it. Uh, Horford, 12 and a half points and rebounds. Hey, play number three. I uh, also threw this in the community last game. Derek White uh, over 12 and a half points, minus 118 on DraftKings. Last three games, he's got 20, 13, and 16. Um, he's been averaging. 16 points the last three games. Uh, 
was also going to play him points and assist. He got it at, uh, he's been averaging 20. They got it at 16 and a half. But uh, decided to go with the points, 12 and a half. This way, in case people ain't hitting their shot, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, it's pretty cut and dry. Playing over 30 minutes. He's exceeded 11 and a half in 13 to 16 games, 16, averaging 16. Like I said, just the last three games, he's averaged uh, 16 points the last three games. So uh, they got it at 12 and a half. Uh, it's already bumped up. It went from 11 and a half to 12 and a half. Uh, I don't really think it's going to go any higher, but uh, just keep an eye on it. Uh, Derek White. Over 12 and a half points. Jalen Brown, over one and a half steals and blocks. Minus 130. Jeff Kings, uh, last 10 games, he's missed this once. Uh, even though I start really going by that. Last three games, he's got six of them. Uh, it's, Comes out to a two a game average. Last game he's got two steals, one block. Uh, he's capable of both steals and blocks. Before that, he got one steal, one block. Uh, I believe they're gonna try to. They really obviously they're trying to win the game, but you know I believe they're gonna put that defense up. He's gonna be out there playing defense. Uh, Sometimes the heat's a little sloppy with the ball. I mean, I've seen them just throw it away like like fools. Uh, and, you know, Jalen Browns could easily be the recipient. That's why he's had so many as well as he's capable. He's a jump man. He could jump. He's chased down blocks, regular blocks, tips, steals, all the above. Feel comfortable playing it. Uh, Jalen Brown, one and a half steals and blocks. Just going to jump right into the other things. Uh, I got a few first quarter props. Play half units. Uh, got Porzingis over four and a half first quarter points. It's gone over this the last two games, I believe. No, last game, the game before, he did horrible. Game before that, he's gone over it. But uh, even with that zero, the last three games together, he's averaging five first quarter points. Um, you know, he's good with the three ball. He can hit two threes, get inside quick, mid-range. Uh, he seems to perform in the first, the first quarter, the first half. It slows down. Rest of the game, uh, yeah. So first first quarter pass, I usually do a little less than a, than I normally bet. You know, half unit, three quarter unit. Some Reeves first quarter points. I've been playing this last couple of days. Uh, they had their back against the wall. He's been coming out trying to prove himself and score. First quarter, he's been pretty assertive, scoring around six. Um, cashed in the last three games. I'm going to play him again. Uh, it's Austin Reeves. Uh, first quarter points, like I said, half units. Uh, could play full if you want. It's up to you. Been cashing him. Also, last one would be uh, Michael Porter Jr. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, sorry about that. Last one's Michael Porter Jr. Ah, oh, that's his points. Fuck. You can take his points if you want. He got his points at 18 and a half, but uh, he's been going over that as well. Let's show that real quick. Been going over it. 
it's pretty high at 18 and a half though just in case you don't but uh first quarter oh yeah i've been playing it you got that four and a half it's usually around six or seven so uh yeah, you missed it the other game, but uh, seven, eight the game before. He had an off night. Came back in the second half, though. But that's why I do half units, just in case. All right, so Michael Porter Jr. First quarter prop over four and a half. <laughs>